saw him still caught up in what's just gone on. But another fabulous match to come here on court one. It's the women's singles as Pi Hong Yang, the lady on her comeback after hurting her knee, takes on the number two seed, Wang Yi Han. The number one seed, by the way, has been knocked out in the women's singles. Wang Shizian knocked out by Cheng Xiao Jie. So uh, a great opportunity, really, you think, for one of these players. Of course, for Pi Hong Yang, it's uh, still a game at a time. For Wang Yi Han, well, a chance for her first world title. But first of all, let me just get a, a word from Jill Clark on, on, on what we've seen, what you've just seen in that mixed doubles that's just gone. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, as uh, Morton Frost was saying, you know, you have to rise to the occasion. You've got to play above yourselves. And my goodness, how well they did do that. You know, I thought there was a little signs of nerves t towards the end of that second game. As you rightly said, that's understandable. But when it came to crunch time, they were good. They did the right things. They were looking to play the right shots, and that's vastly experienced. So Wang Yihan, 23-year-old uh, from Shanghai, was number one seed in Paris a year ago, but she lost in the third round to Erika Hirose. And she's up against Pi Hong Yang here. No longer forgotten about, is she? Returning from injury, uh, had said ahead of these championships, even though uh, she won the, uh, or she got to the final, I should say, of the Canada Open, that they'd come too early for her. Well, here she is in a quarter final. Yes, it's lovely to see her back on court. She's a very graceful player. Uh, beautiful movement but of course if you have struggled with injury and your movement is hampered if that's one of your real assets as a player it does have a dramatic effect so you know uh, it'll be interesting to see how she deals with this but uh, in general terms it's just great to see her back yeah, she's got strapping on both knees but it's her left knee is the one she had operated on and she was out for six months Jutta Rutt in the umpire's chair again. And it's Eric Desroches of Canada who is the service judge. Yeah, as always, there are always going to be upsets along the way, but what did you make of the upset in the uh, women's singles earlier on today with the number one seed, Wang Shizian, being disposed of? Yes, uh, in all honesty, Cheng Chao Xie absolutely deserved to win. I managed to keep a, a little eye on that one, and uh, I thought the tiny player, I don't think she's as tall as the net, you know. She's she, five foot two. Oh, well, she is as tall as the net. And how tall is the net? Five foot in the middle, right. five foot one at the post. Okay, so just about. Yeah, but she was great. I mean, her tactical awareness, uh, movement around the court was just delightful. But we know that uh, there's one European in the semi-finals because Juliana Schenk has beaten Tina Bau in uh, the top half of the draw. So the players are almost ready to get underway here for this women's singles quarter-finals. Well, they have met three times before, one with a 2-1 advantage, but they haven't met since October 2009. Pi Hong Yang's win came in Switzerland three years ago. She has been up to you know, four in the world, I think, is her highest ranking. She was sixth or seventh in the world rankings before, obviously, injury stopped her from playing. Right now, she has a world ranking of 23. Yeah, that's not realistic at all. I mean, she's a much, much better Ladies player than that. It's because of the injury oh problem. Life. She's been out of the Wang world tour. Yihan, China. And on my left, Bi Hong Yan, France. Well. Bi Hong Yan to serve. Level play. Well, after that British bonanza, is it time for Ale Le Bleu in. Uh, this women's singles match. Yeah, 
that's nice. Just to emphasise Pi Hong Yang's so unrealistic world one, ranking at the moment. Love. Two years ago, she was bronze medalist at the World Championships. And this is her sixth World Championships and the sixth consecutive time that she's reached at least the quarterfinal. Yeah, it's a stat that really shows the quality of her. The top four seats here, all, all from China. Two of them now, though, have been knocked out, haven't they? Just wide. So it's Orwell, one all. Wang Yihan currently second in the world, but she has been number one for a fair while. In 2009, she, she was winning every title going. She won seven titles. She was uh, heralded as the future of the Chinese game. Slipped back a little bit last year, but she's kind of reasserted herself to you, hasn't she, this year? Well, she was told by the boss she had to. I mean, it was just extraordinary. World number one. And because she lost, uh, well, it, I don't think it was just one result, but uh, she lost in the final of the Uba Cup, the women's team competition, at so the number one singles one, position two, to the one. number one Korean. And... Lee Yongbo, the head coach, dropped her from the Asian Games. There was four singles players selected for the Asian Games. She's number one in the world and doesn't <laughs> even get selected for the Chinese team. And Lee Yongbo said, you've got to prove yourself again. So what does she do? She's played eight tournaments since then. She's been in six finals and she's won five titles. That's what I call a good response. So yeah, but whether that satisfies Lee Yongbo, oh. I don't know. Well, yeah, quite. Given out, I think it's yeah. about a right call. Without well, that time from Pi Hong Yang. So it's our three, two. Born in Chongqing in Sichuan province. Pi Hong Yang moved to Europe in 2000. Actually, it started in Denmark and then a couple of years later started representing France. Four, two. Yeah, for those who are not used to watching badminton, Joe, it might seem strange that someone can just come and step from Szechuan province and then, you know, go to Denmark or France and decide what country they want to represent. Well, China didn't want her. Apparently she was too small to be any good at badminton. <laughs> there was a, a definite policy by the Chinese coaching staff that they wanted tall, elegant players. They've changed that philosophy now. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's a lovely it. disguise drop. She might not so be tall, but that was elegant. Three, <laughs> yes. Four. And I, I think also, you know, uh, the fact that, you know, the modern world, lots of people move countries. True. And um, I think it's... Uh, it's good that she's been in Europe. She's helped progress European badminton players because other women singles players from Europe have so had to play against her. Five, so three. the whole level of European badminton has been lifted by a couple of Chinese players that came over. One represented Germany and Pi Hong Yang in France. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, you're talking about Germany. You see Juliana Schenk reach the semi-finals in the women's singles here today as well. She done her no harm. Six, three. I just think the fact that Wang Shizian has, has departed today, I mean, Wang Yihan now must look at that and think, this is a great opportunity here for me to take my first world title. I don't think she'll be looking that far. drop shot again from Pi Hong Yan. So it's Just to expand my four, point there a little six. bit, I think Wang Yihan has, has learned so much from being dropped from the Chinese team and told that, you know, she had to prove herself again. You know, the last World Championship, she was the number one seed, and as you say, losing to Hiroshi in the third round. It's a couple of times when 
she has been expected to at least be in the final when she was world number one. There's, there's big pressures that go with that status, and and I think that she's matured now. I was so watching her very, very closely Seven, in the far race, four. the last two Super Series events, and she lost in Singapore, and she, for the rest of the tournament, was sitting directly behind my commentary position. She'd got her own video camera. She was making her own notes, watching all the other top players, the players that had beaten her, and was taking personal so responsibility Five, for the fact seven. that she wanted to improve and it, she wasn't relying on coaching staff from her own country. She was looking at, that's plum on the line, isn't that brilliant? You know, and I think that uh, she won't be taking anything for granted anymore. Well, I think that gives you an idea of the attention to detail that she gives her game. Judged by B, wasn't it? Yep, goes out. wasn't in England for the All England Championships. Uh, Wang missed that with injury. Yeah, you can see she's too got strapping on her knee, her right knee. She uh, went to three games with uh, Bae Young Ju, the eight seed, uh, the Bae Young Han. 21-15, she won in the final game. And of course, having missed so much Bamberton in the last year, she admits that you know that kind of game takes its toll on her. Be interesting to see if she can stay as sprightly as she has at the start of this match so throughout. Nine, seven. Yeah, she reaches up, she really uses her height well, does Wang Yi Han. isn't it? It's a 10-7 advantage now. It's going wide. And at that 11-7. 11-7 interval. Yeah, I really like Wang Yihan's style of play. She's adventurous. Likes to go for angles, go for her shots. And she seems very calm as well. Comeback herself yesterday, and it was a really good comeback. One hand looked a little bit in danger to the Thai youngster Ratchanok. She uh, lost the first set 21 13, but the fact that she came back and won that 21 12 21 9 suggests there wasn't very much wrong with her game. Look, he's the reigning world junior champion. And you're absolutely right. Uh, Wang Yihan did have to battle hard in that. 11 7 play.
Ed. That's a nice advantage now, isn't it, in this uh, opening game for the number two seed. Just missed the line that Service time. Service over. Nine thirteen. Service over. Yeah, one of the most difficult movements Nine. for Pi Hong Yan on her left leg is to jump to what we call that round the head position deep into her backhand corner because she's got to land on the left leg it's going well wide. yeah she looks 15, a little demoralized nine. already doesn't she Getting herself a talking to there better yeah the talking to work didn't it such disguise on her overhead shots Pi Hong Yan cry of Hong Yang going up Smash, clever play from Wang Yi Han. Oh, that was a real opportunity for Pi Hong Yan. Seventeen, ten. She doesn't win every so point here, uh, Wang Yi Han, but 17. she always looks like she's going to get to the shuttle, doesn't she? She always seems to be in the right position. She's a very, very good athlete. steepness of that smash you know the early stages of that rally I thought Wang Yi Han was under pressure and all of a sudden look at this just clips the racket head over the top of the shuttle bringing it down so steeply no real follow-through on the shot yeah it's still 205 220 the uh, faster smash from uh, any player in the women's section this week that was Wang Xia Li 220. Oh, yes, that's nice. So it's all to our 13. Needs more of that, doesn't she, Pete?
Bob. What a defensive shot. So is Laura. Drove that back across court. That is superb. No wonder the coaches are happy. with that final 14, shot, but 19. Wang Yihan really trying to pressurize deep in Pi Hong Yang's backhand corner. Knows that that movement will be very difficult for Pi. Yes, it's an exploiting a player's weakness, isn't it? Harsh on Pi, but given time, I'm sure she'll get back to 100% fitness. Thirty-two now, though. Oh, that was going wide. Yeah, outmaneuvered. Lovely play from Wang Yihan. Brings up those game points. played in that first game. It looks like she could be getting her world number one status back pretty soon, doesn't she? Very comprehensive display there in just 18 minutes, taking that opening game, 21-14. Yeah, difficult again to see the player who's trailing here. I don't know how they breach what looks to be a a game that looks so solid, it was the same for for many of the games we've seen. I suppose the only time that we've seen any hint of a, a player likely to cause some trouble was when Shows his arc played in down. So Fabrice Vallée. What was he uh, saying there, Jill? Could you pick up any of that? And uh, you didn't speak a little bit of French. Yes, I think he's he's wanting more angled shots rather than the power play when she is going for the attack. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of uh, discussion here for Pi Hong Yang. She's played badly in that first uh, game, but and in some respect, it's 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 been mission achieved for her to reach the quarterfinals, given what the last years brought. Yes, I mean prior to the tournament, if uh, you'd said would you take a quarterfinal, she would have been uh, she would have grabbed it. But you know, once you're in the quarterfinal, you of course have the belief, you know, that you could get through to semi-final and beyond. 
Shepherd, Fabrice uh, Vallée. I'm sure uh, telling Pi Hong Yan that Second she game. really had to start be more positive on her play. She's doing an awful lot of reacting. And I think he was saying that uh, when she was attacking, she's got to use the angle. It's no good just using the power because Wang Yi Han just feeds off that. Yeah, that's nice. And again, doing exactly what coach Fabrice was saying. Proactive, especially at the net. Yeah, good. Yeah, she Two, certainly is being one. more positive, isn't she? Yeah, there's the angle one. That's what set up the rally. interesting in the so timeout between the first and second game because four. France have also got a, a Chinese coach and obviously Fabrice was talking to Pi Hong Yan in French and then the Chinese coach was talking to her in, in Mandarin. Also speaks English fluently Pi Hong Yan. It's a stark contrast in atmosphere now, isn't it, though, to to the match before. The crowd were really buzzing, and this game yet to really capture them. Maybe a few more shots like that from Pi so Hong Yang, and maybe uh, electrically charged again. Yeah, w what I'm liking about this is Pi Hong Yang is implementing the tactics that her coach said. You know, keep using these steep angles. in the rally instead of reacting to her okay. opponent well there's a little bit of a uh, dispute here between the two players as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not yeah, there's a lot of this going on isn't there well, the umpire siding with Pi Hong Yan and deciding the shuttle is absolutely fine yeah it's all psychological games Very different feel to this match in the second game, isn't it? Again, she's asking her to change the shuttle. But uh, Bi Hong Yang's keeping hold of it. in a row, but well. it's an encouraging Six. spell nonetheless for Pete. Yeah, now she 
is able to change the shuffle. isn't it from Pi Hong Yan that's that exemplary performance in the first game from one certainly got the upper hand right now the feathers bringing it down across court oh, and again that is magnificent six seven Hong Yan move the full diagonal of the court. Pi Hong Yan not quick enough to get there in time. Oh, yes. So is Ed Came from six. above the shuttle, so looking as if she was going to do a flat push and then just checking the shot at the last moment. Good disguise. Hong Yan wants seven, to get involved eight. in these flat, fast exchanges. the short lift so is Nine, seven. good net shot yeah the lift was only half caught and it got what it deserved coming could you really in the first game Some lovely touches around the net and then pouncing on the winner no I agree but I, I think that Pi Hong Yan has completely changed her tactics and and is getting the reward for doing so well Pi Hong Yan saying look my opponent was ready Look, she does look right ready. Yeah. Well, this is also sadly become a feature of Will Badminton now. Players looking as if they're ready and then saying no, they're not, and and let being played. Because the the umpire could have said no. That's that, that's the point done. Yeah. Well, she won the point in any case. 11-7, the interval lead here. As Pi Hong Yang looks to try and level this match up at one set apiece. Well, the 
tactics that were employed after the first game. I'm sure the tactics that uh, Fabrice Vallée and those in the French camp want to carry on in the second half here. Well, fabulous angle. Some great touches. Yeah, oh, magnificent. And psychologically, that rally was so important. Yeah, we'll see where the match goes from okay, here. Yeah. yeah. Difference between being 13 8 ahead back to 9 12. Very, very good winners across court from deep in a forehand corner as Wang Yi Han. Once again, dispute about the shuttle. Yes. to change just if there's any damage at all to it yes um, if the shuttle uh, goes out of shape or if the feathers literally get ruffled and um, therefore the shuttle will flow uh, fly through the air a little bit slower and therefore the, uh, the players are allowed to change it as long as both players agree you can change the shuttle at any time it's when they disagree that the umpire has to get involved 
Uh, the clear there from Pi Hong Yan, woefully short. And all the hard work is undone. Yeah, from 12-7, it's 12 all, but as you said, that important rally at 12-8. Uh, looks to have had some significance. Points now. Just when we thought we were going to have our uh, first match of the day on court one, that could be heading for three sets. This point is absolutely vital as far as Pi Hong Yan is concerned. She's got to stop this run of points. Thing. Yeah, that is, she 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 played some very good shots in that rally. A couple that she thought might prove to be winning ones, but been a timely run for Wang Yi Hunt. Seven points in a row for the world number two. Yi Hong Yang picks one up herself as it goes long. Yeah, that's nice for Mani Han. She'd moved the full diagonal of the court. Having been deep in a backhand corner, she came forward to the net and still had the control to just guide the shuttle. Scored. You see a player turn and play a backhand from deep in court, you know they're in trouble. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. being made to work then to get to this semi final of these world championships. Missed. Oh. Desperate. 16, 15. <laughs> no wonder she's celebrating it. She saw herself going 16 15 down here. Oh, brilliant. Three 
fabulous shots in a row. 17, 15. Yeah, comprehensively outmaneuvering Pi Hong Yan. That's the one that did the damage. Stretcher one way, then the other, and then the other. Angle on the smash from Pi Hong Yan, and therefore a relatively simple defensive block from Wang Yi Han. Yeah, just stepped into it. I know you're watching Wang Xin earlier win her victory against Sina. Obviously, these two, but they're going to meet each other in the semi finals or Chinese affair. Who would you say would be favorite? Very, very difficult. What's of a coin? Yeah. Wouldn't like to hazard it, I guess. Mm. They're both playing very well. Oh, yes, super. <laughs> it must be so demoralizing, P. Hong Young making that terrific run at what looked like a, a run that could make it one apiece. But. Fabulous badminton from Wang Yihan here. Leon. Two points then for a place in the semi finals. Well, that's the sort of tactic that brought her so much success early on in this second game. Taking the initiative, the drop shot, the angles. <laughs> match points are uh, brought up with that smash from Wang Yihan. 20, match point 16. This is where she's so strong, moving backwards in court and still thundering down a smash. Ah! So it will be an all Chinese affair on one side of the draws in the semi finals. Wang Yihan ending the run of Pi Yang here. Best one by Wang Yihan. 21-14, 21 16. The uh, French player beaten in the quarterfinals for the second year running. So it's uh, Wang Xin next in the semi finals for Wang Yi Han. Two Chinese players will play for the right to get in that final. 21 14, 21 16. Super display. So we know now who will be the final four in the women's singles. There's been a few upsets in the draw, but not on this side, of course, with Wang Xin taking on Wang Yi Han. In the other side, it will be Cheng Xiao Jie, who knocked out Wang Shizian, the world number one, and Juliana Schenk, who beat Tina Baum in a match just earlier on on court two. So Maybe a little surprise on the other side of the draw, but not on this side. Wang Yihan comfortably through against Pi Hong Yang. 